Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 8. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so we're here with the Rally Sport face-off. This is the, um, the one for the Amateur Championships. Uh, rather than point to point, uh, we got Silverstone, Maple Valley, Road Atlanta, and Blue Mountains Raceway to do. So uh, let's get cracking. All right, we're driving the uh, Subaru sexually transmitted illness for this one around Silverstone. This one's bloody quick as well. I think this has got um, performance upgrades put in stock. Anyways, it's got like a custom design. Um, I think I actually earned this on the uh, impressive point to point race as well, so. Yeah, this thing's bloody quick. I think my music's too loud now. There we go. Oh, I don't actually know what this um, final corner is called. It's a cool corner. <laughs> oh, crap. There we go. Hog. <laughs> Poggers, dude. Three, three point four seconds better than that first lap. This thing's got some crazy acceleration, though. Well, for a car from uh, two thousand and four or two thousand and three, I don't know what it is. This has got some speed, my G. Car behind is nine and a half seconds. Yeah, this uh, this was probably a bad choice just because it is so powerful. But <laughs> this is going to be easy. It's on hard difficulty as well, some of these events. But this is just storming the pack. No questions asked. Uh, not ideal. Oh, I didn't even realise I was at the rev limit. Uh oh. I'm not a professional at all, no. If I was a professional, I would have blown an engine by now. I think I did that quite a few times in Gran Turismo when I was playing through number seven. Just shift down one too many times and the engine's just... The only thing is, Gran Turismo is unrealistic because it doesn't simulate a massive explosion when you do shift down like that. Because I can tell you now, if you shift down like that, your engine will no longer be in an engine bay. It will be probably on your roof or something like that. Oh my god, the understeer is unreal. That first corner, I just can never get it right on Silverstone. Such a sketchy corner. Hmm? It, yeah. If I cut it, I end up crashing into a wall. <laughs> uh. There we go. Coming up to the main street now. Lap four of four. We're done. You're done. You're down. You're down. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I think I'm going to skip this one because I think the last thumbnail was actually on um, Silverstone as well. The Valley of the Maple Syrup. I, 
I assume this uh, track is in Canada. Because if it's not in Canada, it's a really weirdly named track. What the hell was that? I just have like stomping footsteps outside my door. Loud. <laughs> that is not even a word that has ever been Kurallel? Lewis, do you know what a Kurallel is? I've got no clue what that is. How the hell did you forget? Wow. Here we go. That corner, it's just like... The car wants to go flat out, but it just physically does not have the grip to go flat out. We got the car behind is seven seconds. Little winky face. Holy shit, that that one's flat out. Had no problem with that corner. Honestly, some of the engine noises in this game are so unrealistic. Even Gran Turismo had better engine noises in this game. I think Motorsport 2 also suffered a similar problem. Uh, 2005. But Gran Turismo came out in 2004. Or Gran Turismo 4 came out in 2004, and that's why I'm comparing this game to. At the end of the day, this game's not bad. It's just, it's not great. Gran Turismo 4 did it better. But then if you go to Gran Turismo 5, which had six, seven years of development, you can then move on and then compare that to Forza Motorsport 4, which only had two years of development. Forza Motorsport 4 is the better game. Any day of the week. Even Forza Motorsport 3, which had two years of development as well, and came out before Gran Turismo, was better. To get my PS2 controller working. Well, you don't use a PS2 controller. You plug in a PS4 or a PS5 controller, and then it just works. Because it uses the same button mapping. Because the PS2 and the PS4 have the same buttons. Yes, very surprising. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to save that replay. I don't think we've had a thumbnail on Maple Valley for a while, so we'll go for that. 9,600 credits and level 17. So we've got a... Uh, Brembo's raised their level to sponsorship. Modified and club sport break upgrades are now 15% off in the upgrade shop. Very nice. Road Atlanta. Hog. The fact that I'm recording three video feeds is just mental. Sorry, four. Because I got one stream in, one recording. No, three recording. So that's four video feeds at a time. Surprised my PC hasn't just said, sod off, I've had enough. I'm going on strike, mate. I'd do it if I was a computer, to be honest. Very nice. That double right-hander can be such a pain in the backside sometimes. 
Because certain cars just... We'll get around the first corner, but the second corner just won't be as smooth. And sometimes if the cars are fast enough, you can't even start accelerating on that middle section. So you end up just cruising. There we go. It's really weird. You go really far uphill and then just drop down. This track's crazy. This is not Google, Jacob. I have no clue what you mean by that. <laughs> I know how you feel sometimes. How can to read a DVD that on attachment type file archive DVD underscore decryptor? You no DVD decryptor doesn't read the DVDs. It decrypts them and turns them into ISO files. It's not for reading. You don't want it to read the DVDs. You don't want it to read the files. Because you need it to convert into an ISO file so you can use the ISO in PCSX2. How do we get from controls to going back to DVD encryptor anyways? Thought we had gotten past that stage. Once you've got the ISO file, DVD encryptor ain't necessary. Ah, oh, nine, nine and a half grand. Let's go. Woohoo! Blue Mountains Raceway. AKA Hell on Earth. I'm going to be honest, Mount Panorama is a lot better than this track. And Mount Panorama ain't much better. But this track is 100% inspired by Mount Panorama. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. Good. We're going, we're going. Ah, slow down, slow down. See, I'm I'm kind of happy that I've got NVIDIA broadcast now on my mic, because if, if it wasn't... Oh my god, it'd be picking up my PC audio like crazy. I was, um... Actually, like, videoing it earlier. And the phone was like, when I was talking, obviously it didn't pick it up, but you went quiet and it was just like, it's just loud. It's ridiculous. I've got to buy a new power supply, but I've got to buy it out of my Twitch payout. So, what? Why am I not happy with you? What? Charming. Oh, come on. There we go. Corner's good. Bosch spark plugs. I just find it weird that Bosch makes spark plugs. I just feel like they're, they're a company that's known for, like, kitchen appliances. Do they actually? Okay, now that surprises me less. So, Bosch make power tools, which now surprises me a lot less that they make spark plugs. But it still surprises me that they make stuff other than kitchen appliances. I've only ever seen kitchen appliances from Bosch. I mean, we literally binned a fridge from Bosch we didn't bin it, we took it to the tip. We responsibly disposed of it. Well, yeah, we literally got rid of a 
Bosch fridge the other day. Oh, good corner there. They're just absolutely storming the pack, though. This car is just crazy. Oh, next up, we got to do the American one. That's going to be fun. Yo, we got Blonde Ambition in the chat. What is up? Welcome. Oh, my. How are you today? Hopefully, you're having a good day. Welcome to the chat. Yo, Blonde, I love racing games as well. <laughs> it's why I'm called Mechanic CG. Racing games are... No. I'm not an actual mechanic, so... Don't, don't ever trust me with a, with a motor vehicle. <laughs> Charming. But yeah, we're, um, this is part of the, what I call the Falls of Mega series. It's mega because we're playing through every single Forza game. Because some of the races in Forza Horizon are called the Forza Goliath, so it would be confusing if I call it the Goliath. And then have... Mm. I don't know. I don't think it's Sue. Hey, we got nine, nine and a half grand. Alright, so we're going to do the uh, American Muscle Challenge now. We got uh, four races to do. We got Sunset Peninsula, Infield, Road Atlanta 2, New York, and Road America. So let's get cracking. Apparently, I have to agree to Lewis now. Let's go. Holy crap, that's got some acceleration. Up until the, we then hit third gear, and then it just tails off a little bit. Ah, challenge is off. Ah, we've gone wide. Fuck. Fuck. Hamburger, cheeseburger, lettuce, and tomato. Hamburger, cheeseburger, lettuce, and tomato. <laughs> I don't know why, but the Forza Motorsport tracks, right... A large majority of the custom tracks that they made are NASCAR tracks, which kind of makes sense because the game is developed by an American team. Like ovals within fields. But surprisingly, a majority of the infield tracks, the fake ones that are made for this game, majority of the infield tracks are actually better, these fake ones, than any infield track that has ever existed in America. Daytona is like the best infield track out of all of the real life infield tracks but surprisingly that's worse than all of the fake infield tracks that Forza Motorsports ever made like it just seems weird American track designers make better tracks if a video game can do it better than you you can do it better <laughs> What do you mean? Well, they should be able to do it better than a video game. Like, they spend millions in, or billions a year to make... Design good tracks for entertainment on television. To make entertaining... NASCAR races and stuff like that. They purposely design racetracks. They hire people to purposefully design a racetrack. Now, I can tell you the people that are paid to design racetracks, like Herman Tilke, um, whatever, get paid millions per track to design it. A game designer probably gets paid 20 grand a year to design tracks. Well, maybe 40 grand. And you think these designers get paid that much to just draw one track? It, it, 
they have the potential to do good shit and they ruin it. I mean, Herman Tilker is the worst track designer that's ever existed. Every track that he's ever designed, like Dubai, I, I, I would vomit on the blueprints of that track just to get rid of it. Like, fuck me. Dubai is the worst... Well, actually, the new update of Dubai isn't too bad. They've gotten rid of the bad quarters and just dug it all up and changed it. Turkey's not that great. Monaco's shit, but that wasn't Tilka. Stridiculous. Ah, oh, and fucking Sochi. Blech. There we go. I'll save that replay just in case we use it. And we'll uh, move on to the next one. 9,100. Let's go. What did you say? What? Oh, we just get fallen to cheer the amount of bits that's left to 42069. Get him to cheer like 40k bits. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's done um, 15k in one stream once. Well, it'd be more like 38k because he's already got 4k there. So. I don't know what the exact number would be. Uh, coming up to the heavy break zone into the chicane. Ah! Lovely. Gonna do it back again when it's back in stock. Yes, good idea. Oh shit, I've gone wide. Ah! Not ideal. There's actually as well, Shaolin, there's a um, critical hit, which does like five times the amount of damage. So, if you want, you can do that one because you, you don't have to wait once you do it. You only get one per stream, but you can do it whenever. <laughs> ah, yeah, you need 1k for that one. Ooh. I don't know why I really like the look of this dodge. It's beautiful. But I wouldn't want to own one. Because it'd be expensive as fuck. <laughs> and knowing me, I'd probably crash it. Because I'd be too scared to drive it. And that fear of driving it would probably make me a worse driver. Like it does anyone. Where the hell is this? I, I never understood why this track lags so much. Got through the uh, little chicanes there. Got the big chicane at the end of the track now as well. You can't uh, give channel points, blonde, unfortunately. Twitch won't, uh, won't allow it. I don't know why they don't. But I sort of get why they don't as well at the same time. It makes sense, but it doesn't. It is what it is. There we go. Nine grand. Level 18. So we've got a discount on modified and club sport intake and exhaust upgrades. So we've got 15% off them. 
Let's go. I'm an idiot. I forgot to press record. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get these last ones done. If that... Cor right, the Corvette's coming behind, so if it messes my race up again... I can't believe it swerved like that. It was ridiculous, man. Not bad. Oh, well, you love. <laughs> okay, we got the distance this time, so... Should be fine. Holy crap. Mate, this car's quick. I, uh, I think it just got ruined when I went into reverse that first time round. I don't even know how I got into reverse. I think I'm just so used to having like six gears that I'm used to shifting down like three at a time per corner. Like muscle cars, you're only really supposed to shift down once in a corner anything anymore cool Whee. oh my gosh come on we got this Second gear. Okay, that lap time was a 244.999. What's your emergency? <laughs> if you're not British, that joke will have gone straight over your head. Guaranteed. Aaron fucking teed. I'm surprised this car is doing so much better than that Stingray. Because I remember doing this event about two years ago. This entire championship. And I was stuck unless I was using the Stingray. I think it was like episode 11 for me. Which this time is going to be episode 8. You know what's going to be really fun is watching through this and trying to chapter every single video. I didn't even realise how much extra effort I'm actually putting into my YouTube content now. Unreal. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Cheers. Oh, that was too close to the inside there. Did not like that one bit. Right. Well, yeah, because I didn't shift into reverse. So I got away from the stingray. But if I... Don't even jinx it. mate. Don't even jinx it. If I shift into reverse, I'm done for. Actually, no. I've got enough distance. It should be fine. Oh, 
Why would you not trust me in an automatic? I mean, sure. That's fine. <laughs> no one asked you to get in a car with me, thank you. <laughs> more pay, more. Right. 525. Here we go. 1970 Challenger Round Road America. America. Fuck yeah. Take me out of dinner. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable in this chair. I... No. No, it doesn't. It doesn't even exist. <laughs> oh, I've just... How the hell have I done that? Completely overshot that corner. Corvette's in front of me now. A racer, not a farmer. Tractor. Here's my tractor. Oh. I got a brand new combine officer, and I'll give you that key. Karma. I got payback on the uh, Corvette after the last race. Uh, I think the Corvette got payback on me, I assume. I spun that bastard out. <laughs> that was pretty sick. There we go. We got uh rest of this lap and then one more lap and we're done for the day. I could go to sleep once I've got my thumbnail sorted out. <laughs> wow, all I've got to do is record the video, the replays, and then I can do the thumbnails tomorrow. Oh my god. Oh, it was so wide. Jesus. Oh, I just can't wait to finish with this controller scheme because it's so bad. Using the B button to shift up. Who at Falls have decided that's a good idea? It's rubbish. A should always be shift up. X should be shift down. And B should be your handbrake. I've done the same thing. I've overshot that corner twice. At least this time I actually recovered quicker. Otherwise I would have had that Corvette on my ass again. In fact, where is that Corvette? I spun him out. I can't tell what the car that was. I really hope the Corvette's not behind me, because if the Corvette's behind me, they got to be angry. I spun them out. I went, meow. Nice. It's 
corner 11A, corner 11B, corner 12. Pog. <laughs> Here we go. Final corner. I can go sleep. In the far out. And there we go. 507. Nine grand. Still level 18. Not bad. And we got ourselves a nice Ford Mustang. Great. Hate the car with a passion. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.